Hello everybody, long time no kitchen chat. But it's only gonna be a really short one because I have about an hour and a bit until I have to go uh, to Tokyo Creative and shoot a video with them. So I thought, let's just sneak a little quick kitchen chat in there. This apron was on sale at Nitori for like six bucks. So the plan for today is uh, I'm gonna make age mochi. I went to Ibaraki and I went to a festival and I got to try age mochi, which their version of it was they deep fried a big chunk of mochi and the outside went crispy and the inside stayed chewy and then they put some kind of dashi on top with seaweed. Now I've been thinking about that aga mochi since it happened. It was so so good. I've never had anything like it. Uh, so I have like four bits of mochi that I found in the cupboard that I want to try and, and figure something out with. So I'm going to do a few test runs, try different kinds of aga mochi and see what I can do. So with age mochi, age just means like fried and mochi is mochi. You might be used to the mochi that you might find at your local supermarket or at like a sushi store or something that's quite chewy. Well this is it in the hard version. This stuff is very hard. I remember when I first came to Japan, I was super excited to try mochi and I went to Daiso and they had um, kagami mochi or New Year's mochi. I bought some because I was like, oh mochi, I love it. And it, it it's this form, you know, it's like a a little mound of, of hard mochi and I tried to like bite into it because I was like is this even edible maybe it's wax or something and I tried to bite into it it needs to be cooked this kind of mochi needs to be cooked to start off with so just a little PSA out there for anybody who wants to bite into this stuff don't do it so mochi actually does some really interesting things when you fry it so I'm going to show you a couple of different things that uh, you can do with it but overall I'm attempting to get that crunchy outside chewy inside put some broth on it have a taste that's the goal. All the recipes online that I found are different. They're either for like little crispy like little snack treats or they're for like a, a broth but with just a stringy mochi, no crispiness. I have no idea so just gonna do my best. So the things I will be using in this recipe are mochi, canola oil, sorry the oil's kind of big so it doesn't fit in the camera. Dashi. Now I got this kind of dashi, it just says dash like a soup stock but I have no idea what kind of stock they used when I ate the mochi at the festival. And finally, I just got some little slivers of seaweed because they sprinkled those on top and they looked really nice and they're tasty too. So these are just uh, soy sauce flavored seaweed. And that's it. So uh, because there's so few ingredients, I hope that this goes really well and it's really easy because we do not have much time because I got to go to work. Also, I apologize for how stained the pot is. It's just stains, it's clean, but uh, yeah, over a long time of use, I just can't get some of the stains on the outside off. Okay, so I'm going to add in some amount of oil. Not too much. Let's go for... So I'm just going to let that heat up, and while that heats up, I'm going to, first of all, do a type of age mochi, which is kind of like rice puffs? I don't know quite how to explain it. It's kind of like a little snack. Like, you could have a little bowl of these. I guess you could call it like mochi popcorn or something. Also, I think you should just be able to break these. Oh yeah, interesting. Ooh, it smells like rice. So the first thing that you need to do is just chop up the mochi into quite small um, size pieces. Doesn't matter if they're misshapen or irregular. Probably go for about this size. Okay, and after you have chopped them, you just put them in frying oil. So I'm gonna give it a go and see if it's hot enough. Here's hoping. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to do a few of them and see how they go. Probably should have a little more oil in there because I want them to be submerged, but it doesn't really matter. And so you should be able to see that they don't stay the same shape. They kind of see, they're like puffing up. <laughs> and they don't take very long, honestly. I usually I wait for them to be a little bit more brown, but they feel pretty done, honestly. <laughs> they puff in. I'm gonna just go with these guys. But yeah, they do they do puff. Oopsie. So here they are. They're um they're a little bit cute. They, they're all puffed up now. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to mine. And I think I can just try them like that. Here they are. It's the kind of sound that they are. Mmm. Because I didn't cook it so long, they're actually still chewy. So it's a crispy and then a chewy. I'm gonna add more salt. <laughs> that is so good. I reckon that if I did like a big bowl of this, like you could make it sweet or savory just with salt is good, but 
I mean, if you did like caramel or something, you could have like, it's like caramel popcorn, but it's like chewy. Oh man, I want to eat more of that. And it's so easy, you literally just cut it up and put it in the oil. Amazing. Actually, I forgot, I should make some dashi. Oh my gosh, they're huge. This is four people's worth. Oh man, this is too much dashi for me. I better just do like half of it. It's fine. I'll just I'll just do that much. I haven't got time, so I'm not like fully researching how to do the dashi, but I'm trying my best. I'm just gonna cook it so that the soup stock fully disintegrates. So I'm gonna cook the dashi, and I'm gonna do a tester on about half, or like the leftover half of the mochi that I just used. So I'm just gonna put this half straight in some oil. Um, and see if I can cook the outside, but not the inside. But cook it, cook the inside enough for it to still be like stringy. So while the oil heats up, I'll tell you about my life. Recently, I went to Okutama River with some friends and we went and like stayed in a cabin and it was super cute and we like cooked food on the fire. It was super nice. Also, this is a test run, so if this goes well, I'll do like two big ones and like present it nicely and eat it. But yeah, life. Uh, life lately has been really good. My mental health has been great. I'm redoing the living room area. You can't see behind you, but you have a couch behind you, but I'm doing a whole other video on that. Just need to get uh, a few more things to set up and then there'll be a video showing you the new living room area. Maybe I'll give it a flip. I do have to be careful though, because it likes to pop. I know that the mochi that I had was very dark on the outside. And I'm like, how did they do that? How did they get the darkness? Because all my mochi is very white. It's starting to brown up. That's kind of what I'm looking for. <laughs> it's pretty cute. I like how it popped up at the top. And I guess I'm just gonna dip it in some dashi and hope for the best. You didn't see that. It's the sound. Pop, pop. Sorry, I've been watching too many ASMR videos lately. I just gave it a dip in uh, in the in the soup, so hopefully this works out. Daki Mars. The inside is cooked. It's very chewy. It's not stringy, but it's chewy. This is this is pretty much it, I think. It is good to keep dipping it in the soup. Maybe I should just serve it in the soup. I'll tell you one thing, it is a very heavy meal. It's kind of like eating like delicious, chewy, salty... Better than Play-Doh. What would it be? I don't know. It is a lot, but it's super delicious. So I think the first method is good if you want like a little mochi snack. Have it while you watch TV. Add some flavors, have a good time. And this one I think is meant to be like more of like... Either like an izakaya meal or like a little side meal or something. I don't think this could be a whole meal. If you just base your whole meal around a big slab of mochi, you're gonna feel so heavy and sick. It's crazy. Maybe I should do little mini age mochi and like cut this in half. Maybe I could cut two of them in half, put two of them in dashi and serve them nicely. And then that could be our finale. And then I can go to work. We can do that in the amount of time I have. I think that's possible. I forgot to press record while I cut up the uh, mochi, oh well. So Eric's back, Eric's back in Tokyo, and he's just started doing language school. So he's attending there uh, five days a week for four hours a day. And yeah, he's doing well. He's uh, living life and it's really good to have him back. It's been very nice. All right, let's give it a go. Don't pop in my face, please. Give a little flip. Woo! You got this, ah! Oh my gosh. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna attempt to plate them up. Two. And then I'll get some of the seaweed. And give it a little razzle dazzle. Actually, they're quite big seaweed bits. <laughs> Actually, I guess they're not that big, it's just the size of my mochi is very small. 
Okay, let me just go take a nice picture of this. Very nice. Okay, well, I think that's it. I had my mochi. I'm pretty full. Well, that's it for me. I'm gonna go to work after I clean up a little bit of this mess if I have time. Thank you so much for coming to watch a little kitchen chat. If you guys have any ideas on food that you would like to see me make or want to learn how to make yourself, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you don't know, I do stream on Twitch three times a week, so if you want to have more, like, interaction or, like, just come and hang out. I, I hang out uh, on Twitch, yeah, three times a week, so uh, the link is always in the description if you want to come hang out as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, or hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Janet! <laughs>